This video is part of our Parallels Tech Byte series. In this video, we'll take a look at dynamic printer mapping using Parallels RAS. Parallels RAS allows you to map, or often called redirect, any printer you have available locally towards remote session. This applies to published applications as well as to published desktops and applies to all major client operating systems. Furthermore, Parallels RAS makes this fully dynamic. This means that any changes applied to the local printers, whether that's adding, removing, or modifying, are then instantly updated inside the remote session as well. Let's take a look at the user experience. This is the Parallels RAS user portal. We have just logged on, and in this case, we have a single published desktop being assigned to us. Let's log on to this published desktop, in this case, using the Parallels RAS client for Windows. As you can see, four redirected printers are visible here. You can tell these are redirected by Parallels RAS based on the postfix by Parallels in each of the printer names. As an admin, you can also control this naming convention. Let's now take the desktop out of full screen to see some of the user experience in action. The printer dialog that is shown on the right hand side is coming from the local client. As you can see, in this case, all local printers are being redirected and the same printer is also set as the default. Let's now make a change to the local default printer. In this case, the Microsoft PDF printer is now being set as the default locally. Note that this change is also instantly applied in the remote session without having to log off and log on again. Upon reverting the change, now selecting the Canon printer as the default, this again is instantly applied inside the remote session. Let's take a look at adding a new printer locally. For the purpose of this demo, a non-existing local printer is being added and the driver Microsoft Publisher Color Printer is selected. Note that again, this is instantly applied in the remote session as well. The newly added local printer is now ready and available in the remote session. Again, this is without having to log off and log on. As mentioned before, in this case, it is allowed to redirect all locally available printers. A very common use case, however, is to only allow redirection of the default local printer. Switching to the admin console to make that change. This is the Parallels RAS console, and we've landed on the Policy Overview page. Open the policy that's being used and go to Printing. Note that the current selection is to redirect all local printers. You can change that to a subset or to only the default printer. Select Default Only. Next, click on Change Default Printer Settings. In here, you can change the default printer behavior. Make sure that the option to update remote default printers based on local changes is selected. Click OK and apply the policy change. Now disconnect the desktop session and refresh to make sure that the new Parallels RAS policy is applied. Reconnect to the desktop. This allows you to reconnect to the existing disconnected session. Note that in this case, only the default printer is visible inside the remote session. We take the desktop out of full screen again to see how local printer changes are now being applied. Here is the local printer dialog again. In this case, we make the newly added printer the local default. As you can see on the left hand side, this is instantly applied in the remote session as well. This allows organizations to apply policies to only redirect local printers, while still allowing users to change the local printer and have it available inside the remote session without having to log off and log on again. And users who frequently change their default printer locally now see this change reflected in their remote session instantly. And organizations who decide to map only the default printer can now provide an easy way to their end users to access other printers in a fast and easy way. This completes our video on dynamic printer mapping using Parallels RAS. For more content, subscribe to our channel and browse to the Parallels Tech Byte series.